Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And this one I want to uh, talk about something. Well, not more talk about something, but uh, get something together with you guys and actually see what we get. I want to use an example that is here. This is a question that was pushed in the WhatsApp group. So if you're not in the WhatsApp group, I'll try and share a link below so that you can actually be getting reprised faster. So here's a, uh, the idea. So we want to have something like this. We have orders where we have a tab which goes to all, which goes to paid, goes to pending, and goes to cancelled. So we want to get this differently, but from the same table. We also want to get these rebels down here. So we have we want to get paid as green, pending as yeah, uh, orange, and cancelled as red. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've already created that. Now let's go ahead to where I have my table, which is pages. And go to status so under status this is where i'm getting my uh my from. as you can see i have pending i have cancelled i have paid so let's go ahead and go to status here and we are going to go to display type change this to custom and let's go ahead and come back here so as you can see we have this so we're just going to copy all of this we're going to copy all of this and you're going to come down here and say PHP, okay, just close that, and you're going to say if data status, okay, so we want to get the data status, is equals to paid, right, we're going to get something like this, so you can just close that, then come back here and do php make sure there's that spacing in between there it's really important then you're going to come here and change the class and say the class is equals to batch success All right so this should be giving us a success of a badge so uh, let's remove that Give it time to load. I have so many tables here, so that's why it's taking time. All right, there we go. We have a uh, primary. This is not really success, so we actually want it to be success. But but success. I guess it has something to do with the uh, with our uh, our theme. Let's go ahead and say PHP. Come back here and say. So instead of having to do this over again, let's just copy this. So if is equals to cancelled, then you want to get this up a red color, which would be danger. If is equals to pending, we want to give an orange color which will be warning make sure you spell that right and that will be it so let's go ahead and try this Yeah, great. So there we go. We have a paid, a cancelled, and a warning. So this is because of the theme, so you can change that. I don't know why it's behaving like that. It should be green. Success. All right. That should be green. Now, the next thing we need to do is that we need things like this. We need to add a tab. How do we do that? Go back to PHP. Go to our list page. Go to design. As you can see, I've already removed the top section with the search bar. So I want to be having this alone. So how do I do this? Now let's go ahead and pick a tabs component or widget and drop it here. There we go. We have a tab page. Now as you can see, we have tab one and we have tab two. So let me pick this and put it here. So we are going to change this tab 
and call it all just exactly like we have here okay to add a new tab and call the new tab page all right call this part tabs page but now as you can see we need to filter it now in case we need to drop this it cannot be dropped because it cannot render a star view in its own page so to do this we need to go back to pages here come here and create a new page and call this page paid okay call that page paid all right so under paid now we're going back to our design and we are going to drop down the page we just created called paid great as you can see it's now working so you want to filter this to only show the status as paid so you're going to filter using status so it's just a join and the filter value in this case is going to be what we want it to show so we wanted to show a page you can order by whichever means you want we cannot we let's not show uh the header and let's uh, generate our application again so that you can actually see what you have done for the situation all right so there we go we have the paid as you can see this is only showing the ones that is paid and because we have the tabs you cannot see the tabs because you have not added it in the new page so let's go ahead and go to our list page go to status and under this we are going to copy but we might not need just everything because remember we are filtering you can just copy the paid one the code for the paid okay then come back to page paid go to status make this a custom but because we are already talking about paid we don't have to keep on saying the if so you're just going to say plus is equals to batch success to fully understand these classes you'll have to uh, look into some bootstrap and you're good to go so that is it now we will need to change this from cmd6 to cmd12 so that we can actually have this expanding all the way up and container free this already container free now the next thing is to so we need to add a new thing now let's go back here okay and under paid have that now we need to add a new tab okay so to add a new tab just go back to where you have your tabs pick your tabs drop them here of course they're going to be in a new one so pick this and drop it there align it and you're going to have this as what we have here and so have this as pending all right now we're going to have the tab to remove this and have this as cancelled now we need to create new pages now the pending and the cancelled so come back here and create a page called pending all right and create a new page called cancelled all right now before we continue we will need to do something so under pending and cancelled we need to add the classes we made in our status so go ahead and convert this to custom and this is a pending page add a class this class is going to be a badge badge warning in case you don't see the badge after typing this uh, reject your spelling change this to custom and give this a class of badge danger like that now we're good to go 
So let's go back to our page design and we need to drop the pages we created respectively here. So we are going to drop the pending page here and you're going to drop the cancelled page here. Now we need to filter this to only show pending. So I'll go ahead and go to status and the filter variable will be pending like that. And then go ahead to cancel status and the filter variable will be cancelled like that. Now let's do a preview on our application. All right, so we have paid, we have pending, we have canceled. So there we go. Now to make them look better, you need to remove the header. So show header is equal to false, show footer false. Go to show header false, show footer, set that to false. So that we don't get all the, all of this section. So we only need to get this section here. So we have paid, we have pending, and we have passes. So you have all of them, you can list all of them, and you can have this. So this is a quick tutorial so that you can you don't have to keep on writing queries every time. You can just do a join or just filter them the way we did. And you can style your tabs orientation. You can change from tabs to fields. You can say to place in card A is equal to post. So the orientation can be whichever way you want. So the having card is just going to remove this and you're going to just be having the tabs just like we have. So let's wait for it to complete and see what we'll be getting. All right, so there you go. We have the pills like that. It can be whichever way, way you want depending on how you want your team to be looking like and so yeah that will be it for this tutorial guys see you in the next one